you mentioned that uh, it's going to be a do or die game uh, because that's the only chance um, we are having. Having lost uh, the first game, we are now in a position to bounce back and you know to stay on the same hopes and realize the plan that we had from the very beginning that we achieve our objective and most especially to qualify for the World Cup. It's not easy, but we are getting ready for um, the next game, knowing the importance of that particular game, and we want the game to be our turning point. Kwenye mpiro wa migu, na nafina kwenye maisha ya kawaida, hakuna kitu ambacho ni permanent. Kitu ambacho kipo siku zote, uh, na ambacho kinakuwa ni constant ni changes, siwa? So, kwa vivote vile ambako ipo, uh, tumekuwa tuna wakati na vijana kwa mana ya kuongea, lakini pia uh, kufanya training, jabukua hawezi uka train big time wakati huu kwa sababu muda pia um, siwa rafiki sana. So, kwa vivote vile ambako ipo, tutataka kucheza na best players ambao tuko nao, na ambao tunaamini kwamba wanaweza wakafanya zaidi pengine ya ambavyo wengine wamefanya na ambavyo wana, wanafanya ili mwisho wa siku kama ambavyo umeweza kusema kwamba tuweze uh, kuhakikisha kwamba tunapata matokeo pressure ni kubwa of course baada ya kupoteza mchezo wa kwanza na tunaamini kwamba uh, kesho tutakuwa na kitu tofauti na kile ambacho tulikuwa nacho kwenye first game matatizo ambayo umeweza kusingo out of course unaweza ukaanzia kusema hapo ambapo umesema kwa maana ya defenders na um, goal keeping kwa sababu kulikuwa kuna magoli ambayo yamefungwa sio lakini kama uh, technical staff tumeweza kuliangalia katika dimension kubwa kwamba shida haiwezi kuanzia kwenye defenders peke yake sio ni lazima pia tuangalie kwenye operation ya midfielders wetu wana operate vipi kusaidia um, defenders lakini pia top attackers wana uweza kuconnect vipi na central mids ili tuwe tuna timu ambayo of course na uiano uh, mzuri sehemu ya goalkeeper ni sehemu ya mshoni sana kwa maana ya kwamba kama tunaweza tukamfanya um, vizuri kuanzia katikati ya uwanja na kwenye um, back line it's very obvious maratizo kwenye goalkeeping yatakuwa ni madogo of course hiyo nafasi kama nafasi ina, ina, ina changamoto kwa sababu kile ambacho inakuwa kimeshindikana kwa kwenye midfield kile ambacho inakuwa kimeshindikana kwa central I mean kwa kwa, kwa backline unategemea kiwe collected na goalkeeper there's no way you can play 90 minutes mpira usifike goal ni kwako kwa hiyo um, it's a work on process lakini bahati mbaya muda uko very limited na kwa hivyo tunajaribu kuona kwamba tunafanya kwa namna ambavyo inawezekana kufanya ili mwisho wa siku tuwe tuna hiyo balance ambayo tunaitaka tufunge magoli kama tunavyofunga lakini pia it's a time we need a clean sheet keep the coach i'm just here from one of sport news coach you have seen the combination and you got up and given john the productivity in the zone of qualification and in the Rwanda we have seen the inclusion of the john who have been brilliant so far, uh, do you think they have to start on three of them in the next match? Because we need some calls. Agiri, also Kevin John, and Edmund John. Um, having mentioned uh, Agiri, of course, uh, has been you know one of the best uh, player in our team in terms of uh, attacking. So it's optional. It's optional um, to use him. That gives us a loom of making um, selection. Depends much on how we want to play our next game. Should we uh, think of playing with three attackers? Of course, we might um, consider bringing him in. If also we have to play with two attackers again, he's having a chance um, to be selected. As I said, uh, we are dealing with these uh, youngsters. You don't expect um, too much consistency of them in terms of um, performance. You might be having them today with a very good performance, but tomorrow they give you something else. So uh, having all these um, factors together, you need to see who is ready to play 
what kind of game and when so that you can bring him in. But let me just say that it's optional and he is in a team. We are hoping he's going, uh, he's going to get some time to play. Each and everything in the dressing room the same same day, actually, uh, coming from the field of play, it was law. You have to, um, to say that. And because, you know, um, what we got from the game is not what we expected. But we spoke with the boys um, in the changing room before even leaving to the hotel, telling them that, you know, they have to leave everything behind because uh, we believe the next game is always the important game. So if at all, you know, um, you dwell much on the game that you have already played with the results which you cannot undo it, um, you'll be stressing yourself and hence you'll be giving yourself hard time preparing for the next game. Uh, I'm very happy to say that um, the boys, the technical staff and everybody who is behind the team, they are all positive and looking forward for the next game. Um, yes or no, because of the timing, of course we need the boys to be motivated. At the same time, we need the boys to be more focused. We are, as I said, um, we are dealing with these um, young boys. Sometimes when um, you invite a lot of people, they're having, of course, good intentions on motivating them and um, making them understand what they're supposed to do, but you never know about the perception. Um, they might take it in a, in, a, in a different way, and that becomes um, a pressure again. Now, if at all it was not scheduled, and it has been not a routine of doing that, we are not trying to do something different now, because just because we lost the first game. We are just um, um, staying with the same setup, um, having the same understanding, having the same people, um, having the same way of thinking um, towards the game and we are preparing with the same same um, understanding as we normally um, prepare so that the boys they can only um, understand that they have lost the game but you know uh, they're still having the, the chance three games two you win two games you are in a semi um, final they're still having two um, games on hand and that being the case focusing on the next game that is um, what it takes off. Uh, um, Mashindano tuliofanya Burundi lakini pia mashindano ambayo tumefanya hapa nyumbani ya qualifiers ni mashindano tofauti kabisa sio. Uh, tunakumbuka wote day 1 hapa tulikuwa tuko very confident sio kuhusiana na Nigeria ambao tuliwaona Uturuki sio. Lakini kwenda kwenye first game it was a completely uh, different team na timu ambayo tulikuwa tayari tumeshaiona kwenye mashindano ambayo walikuwa yame yamepita sio. Kwa hiyo hatuifikiri Uganda ya Burundi. At the same time hatuifikiri kabisa Uganda ambayo tulicheza nayo kwenye zono qualifiers. The kitu pekee ambacho tunaweza kusema um, pengine ni fursa ambayo tumeipata ya kuangalia Uganda juzi wakicheza na Angola. So hiyo pekee yake ndo sehemu ambayo tunaweza tukazungumza na kusema pengine inatuweka kwenye um, position ya kuona kwamba ni nini ambacho uh, tunaweza kufanya um, kwa maana ya kunutralize sehemu ambazo wanaonekana wana uimara lakini pia tuone tunaweza tukatumiaje faida ya sehemu ambazo zinaonekana zina udhaifu lakini sio kwa sababu ya mashindano ya mwaka jana kwa maana ya mashindano ya Burundi ya Sekafa lakini pia na mashindano ambayo yalifanyika hapa nyumbani ya um, Sekafa zone qualifier <laughs> yeah uh, it's a different um, tournament, uh, and therefore we cannot rely on what happened uh, in April last year in Burundi, in Sekafa tournament. But again, we can... Vodacom ikishirukiana na TPB Bank wameweletea Mkoba. Mkoba ni huduma mpya kuchanga kidijitali inayoleta usalama wa fedha za wanakikundi, uwazi na urahisi wa kuchanga kutoka popote. Kujiunga na kusajili kikundi na Mkoba ni rahisi. Piga nyota 150, nyota 00, alama ya reli, chagua namba sita, huduma za kifedha. Alafu chagua namba tatu, Mkoba. Chagua moja, sajili kikundi. Kusajili kikundi cha familia na marafiki, chagua namba moja. Kusajili vikoba au VSLA na kadhalika unachagua namba mbili kisha ingiza jina la kikundi ingiza kiasi cha kuanzia kwenye akaunti ambacho ni angalau shilingi moja. chagua moja kuthibitisha weka namba ya siri utapokea ujumbe mfupi wa SMS pale usajili wa kikundi utakapokamilika na utaweza kuongeza wanachama na kufurahia huduma hii kumbuka kila kikundi kinatakiwa kuwa na wanachama angalau watano na viongozi angalau watatu ambao ni mwenyekiti katibu na mweka hazina jiunge na Mkoba leo ufanikishe malengo ya kikundi chako kiganjani Mama, 
ni zaidi ya kuitwa mama. Mama bora ni yule anayefanya maamuzi sahihi kwa ajili ya usalama na afya ya familia yake. Nimeamua kuwa mama bora kwa kutumia Emina au Papa Sclina ambayo ni sabuni ya maji kwa matumizi ya nyumbani. Ina harufu nzuri na haichubui mikono. Na tone kidogo tu kwa kama lote. Na ushauri kina mama wenzangu kuwa mama bora kwa kuchagua Emina au Papa Sclina kwa matukio mazuri ya usafi. Emina, usafi ni afya.